Hi, good morning. Welcome back to South Nut Hill on the sixth week, I think it is, of the lockdown. And this morning, I'm going to cook for you a dish from my hometown of Middlesbrough. Now, there are not many dishes from Middlesbrough, but this is one, and it's called a Pamo. Not Pamo, Pamo, all right? And a Pamo is a breaded chicken breast with a lovely bechamel and cheese sauce. Very healthy, I must add. Now then, let me take you through the ingredients I've got with me today. I've got two uh, chicken breasts, which I've split in half and bashed out already. And I took out the fridge a little bit earlier because you don't want it too cold to cook with. Um, later on, I'm going to, um, what's called French, we call it pané. We call it bread crumbit. So I've got some flour, some egg, and some fresh bread crumbs there. Now then, I'm also going to make a sauce for it at the back of it and we're going to make a classic white sauce or a bechamel which is going to take three, 300 mils of milk, 30 grams of butter with some, a little bit of nutmeg there just to add to it and also 30 grams of flour and an optional spoonful of mustard. And then later on, we're going to add the cheese, which is here, which is about 100 grams of Cheshire cheese, I'm afraid, this morning. Not I'm afraid, I just what I had, it's available. And some oil for cooking. So, we're going to start by making the white bechamel sauce. So I'll go over to the stove and do that. When you make this sauce, it's very important that you don't add all the milk all at once. So there we go, bit by bit. It's, I use my little wooden spoon, put the butter in to melt it first. As you can see, going in nicely. And now I'm going to add 30 grams of flour. Now it's important that the flour cooks out and you don't just Put the milk in first, so you're going to put the milk and the flour and the butter in first. Keep going with your spoon, so it's just slowly cooking out. There you go, the butter's smooth. Now I'm going to add the milk, little by little. Right now, if my cameraman will just move back a bit, I'll get all the milk. Thank you. This is just ordinary semi-skim milk. To be quick because I just catch the butter starting to catch there I'm afraid. Don't add it all at once because you'll find it very difficult to get rid of any lump that might occur because it's going to be a nice smooth sauce. I'm just going to turn that heat down a little bit. Oops a daisy. It's quite vicious, this uh, induction hob. So we want the sauce quite thick, but um, we don't want it lumpy, so we're going to just add a little bit at a time and cook out the flour in the sauce. Don't be tempted to use corn flour, because it's nowhere near as good. Just put that in there. I also need a teaspoonful of mustard, which I shall just get here. This is optional, you don't have to add the mustard, but I just think it gives it a slightly bit of, bit of a bit of a flavour. So about a teaspoonful I've put in. There we go. Cook the sauce out nicely. As you can see, it's getting nice and smooth, it's getting thicker all the time as the flour cooks out. It's called a bechamel sauce in French. We would just call it a normal white sauce. As you can see now, it's just become nice and thick. Add the rest of the milk. It has to be a thick sauce to add because you're going to put it on top of the chicken when it's ready. We'll just let that cook out for a while. 
my sauce has been cooking for about four or five minutes so it's cooked out nicely it's quite thick you don't have to put so much milk in if you don't want to just be do it by eye really just so you get a nice thick sauce and what I'm going to do is let it cool a little bit and by the do that I just put a bit of crumpled and wet and paper on top to stop it getting the skin so we just just put it on top of the sauce like that it just stops it getting the skin and it's a lot easy to work with let's put it over there for now now to the chicken now first of all we have to bread our chicken which I said I um, put in a bag and bashed so it didn't splash all over the place now you can use a whole chicken breast or, or just a half I think just Lorene and I will just like a small portion so first thing we're going to do is just drop it in the flour it's the first part of the glue it's seasoned flour by the way don't put too much on then then into the egg like so once that's finished we'll put it into the breadcrumb and get it covered beautifully even in breadcrumbs you can use fresh breadcrumbs like I have or you can use a panko breadcrumb I prefer not to use those golden breadcrumbs don't like them at all right let's do the second one let's take this one out of the bag again Oops. you can see I banged it out and the reason I banged it out so flat is so it cooks fairly quickly you don't want it uh, cooking forever so we're going to cook it in the oil in a minute when I've got it done so let's just put this in the breadcrumbs get a good covering of all of it oh, get it. oh sticky 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 it's nice and covered now the palmo as it's called in Middlesbrough is a dish that was invented in Middlesbrough actually a little restaurant in uh, Linthorpe Road called the Europe, Europe, Europa. They started cooking these in the 19, late 1950s. So, so I'm told, rumour has it. And um, now every takeaway and pizza shop sell a palmo. Now, just going to cook it in the oil. Just make sure the oil's warming. Just slightly, yeah, just, that must be a bit hotter at the moment. Not quite, you can see the breadcrumbs not quite sizzling. Just make it hotter. Oops. Make it lovely and warm. Right. We're going to fry it for about two minutes or so on either side, so it's golden. Then we're going to add the sauce to it, the cheese, put it under the grill, and then we'll have ourselves a wonderful palmo. It's one of my favourites and my son's favourite dish. Let's just put the breadcrumbs in because I can see now it's starting to well, it's starting to heat. Can you see it just sizzling nicely? So we'll just put the chicken in like so. And we're going to cook this for about two or three minutes. Give it a little turn at the same time. And we're back for the palmo. It's unusual, it's a Middlesbrough dish. It's one of the few things that you have. You normally have a northeast dish like panacle tea or corned beef hash or some like generically the northeast but this dish is just from Teesside really Middlesbrough excellent now the chicken cooked for about three three minutes each side so and I've just tested to make sure it's nice and white inside and cooked and the next piece is we're going to put the bechamel sauce on top of the chicken like so nice and Oh, this is lovely. Now we're going to put it under the grill because normally in um, the pizza shops in Middlesbrough they put it under the pull-through grill, which is a very good idea. Now then we're going to now add the cheese to the top. Don't be too shy with the cheese, and don't be tempted to use Parmesan, <laughs> even though it is called a Parmo. You can also have a hot shot parma, which is with bolognese and uh, chili sauce. Or you can have a mushroom parma, which has mushrooms with it. 
they do get inventive. Right, let's put it on the grill and put it in there. Grill these pieces of chicken. And we're off and running. Put that one there. And this one here. And now we're just going to pop these under the grill. And we'll be ready for lunch. So let me just come in this way. And put them under the grill. There we go, nice hot grill going. Shouldn't take too long for this cheese to melt. Yeah, cheese lusciousness. Oh, lovely, I can't wait. It should be ready, it's been great. Look at this coming out this, come on, look at it coming out this grill. Now, what is there not to like about this? Oh, I can't wait for my lunch. So let's put that on a plate. And we'll be able to have a bit of lunch, Mrs. Cameraman and me. Now, if you mind out of the way, I'll put it on a plate. Oh, can't wait to get into this. There we go. Thank you. Let's see what it's like inside. So we'll just take a little bit off here. And they're red hot, so very, very difficult. Look at that. How lovely and juicy. My take on Middlesbrough's best chicken parmel. Let me taste it. Mm, mm. Oh, that is, mm -hmm. that is so, so nice. And normally you serve with chips and salad, believe it or not, and garlic sauce. Don't forget the garlic sauce. So, that is my take on the Teesside Parmo. So, like I said, please look at my website and enjoy it on YouTube and on Facebook. See you soon.